welcome to another episode. In today's episode, we are going to be making a New Year's jar. And Mom's going to explain it and tell you what it is. And uh, yeah, it's right here behind me. And this is the jar that we're going to be making. And we're going to explain what you're supposed to do with this jar. But before we do that, I wanted to let you guys know that I'm sorry that I haven't put up videos in the last week. But our internet modem was broken and we had to get it replaced. And we just got it replaced today. So I'm able to film this video and I'll hopefully get it up to you this coming weekend. So anyway guys, yeah, that's where I've been. I've been around. I've been posting other videos and things on my social media. But uh, yeah, so that's the reason I haven't uploaded a video because our internet was down because the modem box was broken. So anyway guys, anyway, let's get started with the tutorial. This is a really cool idea guys. I hope you enjoy it. Okay guys, so this is called a New Year's jar. And basically what this is, it is a little jar that you're going to decorate however you'd like or create whatever you'd like to do with it. And it's a jar where you write on little pieces of paper throughout the entire year where you're documenting all of the good things that has happened to you or things that you've experienced that are positive or blessings that are in your life. So then what you do at the end of the year, you'll open this jar on New Year's Eve at the end of this year, and you'll read through all the little pieces of paper that you're going to put inside where you wrote down good memories. So it's kind of like having a diary, but very simple where you just put like one or two sentences on a piece of paper and you put it in here. So anyway, you can put dates on the pieces of paper, you can put memories, special events, a cool concert you went to, a new friend that you made, um, a birthday memory, whatever you'd like to put in the jar and you do it the entire year. So by the end of the year, this should be pretty full. So let me get into this and I'll explain how to do it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is a clean jar. It could be glass, it could be plastic, it could be colored, it could be decorated, you can do whatever you want. This is just a jar that uh, was had honey in it and we cleaned it up so we're going to use this one. Then you're going to need stuff to decorate it with. You could use stickers, glitter, markers, pens, paper, whatever you want. This, we're going to use this in the bottom of the jar just to give it a little bit of color. You're also going to need ribbons like this. Um, or string ties, a hair bow, whatever you want to use. We're going to be using that. And we're also going to be using some paper. So this paper matches quite nicely because it has purple in it. So this is the paper we're going to use. So with a few simple items, you are going to be able to make this New Year's jar. So let me show you how we're going to decorate ours. First things first, we're going to take the lid off like so, and it's just an empty jar. And then we're going to take some of our purple fluff here. This is like stuff that you'd put inside of a, a gift bag or something. We're just gonna push some of this down into the bottom of the jar, all right? Just right down there in the bottom. And it's just gonna give it a little bit of decoration. So, um, Lammy, are you sure you want this uh, jar to be purple? Yes. All right, you don't want it pink? No. Purple? Yes. All right, so there we have it, guys. You will see right there. So there we have that in there, and it's just, you know, a little bit of decoration, no big deal. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take one of the pieces of paper off of our pad. Then what we're going to do is take the paper and cut it into little slivers like this. They could be as big or as small as you would like. This is just what we're going to have for ours. And we are going to keep these pieces of paper nearby wherever we choose to keep our jar. So the point of this little thing is to try to look at all of the blessings and good things in your life. So what we're going to do here with our jar is we are going to write on these little pieces of paper we just created, we are going to write something good that happened to us that day. So anything that's like, I got an A on a test, or I got to see a family member I haven't seen in a long time, or I spent the night at a friend's house and we had a great time, or your birthday was fabulous, or you went to a great concert. You know, those are just some examples. So we are going to put, Lammy, what do you want to put on your first one? Um, um, I want to write that I recently gained 15,000 subscribers. 
All right, so 15,000 subscribers. All right, so we wrote 15,000 subscribers on the little piece of paper. And then what you're gonna do is you fold it in half like that and you put it down inside the jar and it just sits there. Now, then what you do when you're done writing whatever it is you wanna remember, you put the lid back on and let me get back for a minute because I gotta put um, the ribbon on. We're gonna tie the ribbon around the edge of the jar just for decoration like this, like this. And then we're just gonna tie it in a bow. Now you could write a little tag on here that says New Year's jar, whatever you'd like, or maybe put a sticker on top or write it in Sharpie or something. And then you have this cute little jar that you're going to continue throughout the year to write little things on pieces of paper and put in here. So basically this is like a gratitude jar or a memory jar if you want to think of it that way. I think this sounds like a really unique and cool idea. Have you guys ever done this before? We haven't and I'm really excited we're doing it this year. I have so much to be thankful for, especially you guys. And uh, yeah, I'm going to continue to fill this jar this year and see what we can come up with. <laughs> I'm hoping 2016 is an awesome year for all of us. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think of this idea. Also, be sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming for 2016. Also, follow me on all of my social media. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and Snapchat. All of those links are in the description box below so you can see what I'm up to in between videos. And anyway guys, thanks for watching and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video guys. Bye!